Do you want a job in Washington, D.C. these days? Let me tell you about the job that you ought to shoot for. No experience necessary. It's a job that'll make you a hero to the media. It allows you to be treated like royalty by certain members of Congress, and you really don't even have to show up for work. In fact, it's kind of like being a reporter without ever having seen firsthand any of the stories that you're reporting on. You know what it is? It's the job of the whistleblower. You see, tonight, I'm teaching our entire studio audience right here in Nashville how to get on this incredible opportunity to make history, change history, heck, even create history out of absolutely nothing. Yes, you too can be a whistleblower. You know, there are members of Congress and media personalities who are desperate to overturn the election results from 2016. And they tried whistleblowing over a 12-year-old videotape of then-private citizen Donald Trump saying some pretty raunchy and disgusting stuff. And hey, it wasn't good, and no one defended it. But most people who voted for now President Trump didn't do so because they thought he was a Sunday school teacher. They did it because he wouldn't force the real Sunday school teachers and the pastors and priests to submit to government control of their beliefs about the sanctity of life or the biblical model of marriage. Now, those voting for Trump heard the so-called whistleblower, but they weren't electing Donald Trump to teach their children. They elected him so the government wouldn't tell the parents what they would teach their children or their church or their mosque or their synagogue. Now, after Donald Trump was actually elected, the D.C. establishment went nuts. They started immediately calling for impeachment before he was even sworn in. And they tried to do some whistleblowing about Russian collusion, obstruction of justice, and they even tried to whistleblow if someone stayed in a Trump hotel anywhere in the world. By the way, they spent over 35 million of your tax dollars and two years on a team of highly partisan special prosecutors looking for a whistleblower. All they got was nose blowers. And in the end, they got nothing. Nada. That sound out there, by the way, was someone blowing his nose. That's just so you know. <laughs> and then the president had a phone call with the newly elected president of Ukraine, a former comedian. And that kind of makes sense because the Ukrainian government was so corrupt before, it was itself a joke. Now, the new Ukrainian president was elected to drain his own swamp. After the call, there emerged a whistleblower. But the whistleblower didn't actually hear the call. In fact, after tonight, I won't hear anything, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, he heard about it from some pals in the deep state of bureaucrats and highly placed spooks from the intel community who hate President Trump, but still take a paycheck from him. And they told the so-called whistleblower who in turn told TV camera hog Congressman Adam Schiff and Speaker Nancy Pelosi about what he or she, because we don't know who it was, what that person learned second and third hand. So it's like letting someone help referee and blow the whistle at a New Orleans Saints game that he never actually saw, but he heard about it from some friends who really hate the Saints. And by the way, if you've seen what's happened to the Saints at times, even the refs at the game didn't see much either. Because <laughs> it turns out the whistleblower was actually connected to Joe Biden, which neither Schiff nor Pelosi bothered to mention. Now there's more, but I think you get the drift. To be a whistleblower, you don't have to actually see or know anything. You just have to believe something really, really bad about Donald Trump. And then you can be the toast of the town in Washington, D.C. So being a whistleblower, it's an easy job and probably will get you a book deal and maybe a TV contract on the bottom feeding Catfish News Network, otherwise known as CNN. <laughs> All for being, that's right, a whistleblower. 
Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts. <laughs>